Okay, we're going to take a cold start test of my 88 Toyota Celica. I haven't started this car in about three days. Keep it in my shop here to kind of keep it nice. As you can see, it has not been started. I'll let idle just for a minute. Granted, it's not winter. It's about 60 degrees here. Starts and runs like a newer car. So I'm gonna try to show any imperfections I have on this car. It's really clean for the year. Has the optional wheels you could get on the Celica back then. These are brand new tires. There is a couple of light scratches here. It might be able to be buffed out. It doesn't hit my nail very hard. I did have it detailed, but I think someone even could go over it again and get a little more out of it. You can see there's just some dust on the car. I do drive this car, so it is a little dirty. Non-original parts on a car that I found are it has new struts, the new tires, the muffler has been replaced at some point, and the aftermarket stereo which I really haven't used. This right rear quarter panel here, I think was repaired by ASC when they did the convertible conversion to the car. And there is some, let's see if my camera some checking in that quarter panel paint. It's still nice and smooth, but there is some checking underneath the paint down this quarter panel here and some chicken tracks. And then the prior owner did tell me an egg at some point had hit the fender right there and probably sat for a little bit. So there's a little bit of textured paint there from that. The owner is a seven year old guy. He bought this when he was 38 years old back in 88, brand new from Appleway, Al Spokane. Drove it down to Walla Walla, where it's lived its whole life. In his uh, three bay garage, this is kind of his summer toy that he used. I think towards the last couple years, he hadn't used it really at all. He did his own oil change, oil changes to it. He had the service books to it. He's got the original, original window sticker, original even key tag from the dealership for it. So you can see the carpet's a little dirty again because I do drive this car. Interior is in really excellent condition. But anyway, the prior owner was getting to the point where he had trouble getting in and out of the car with his back. And so it was time to let it go. The only really bad spot in the interior is right there. The headliner's coming apart from the soft top a little bit. And then that rear 
is kind of glazed, scratched a little bit. The rear window, it's plastic. I don't ever think he used the back seat, maybe set the hall stuff. Here's all the controls for the AC. Everything works fine. All the directional controls for the vents work. All the speed settings also work. This, this is the head unit. I don't usually listen to the radio when I drive. It's some Sony unit. I haven't tried it. Power antenna does work. Headliners in excellent shape as well, except for that one spot. Soft top's in excellent shape. Again, it has sat inside its whole life. I took the original tires off of the car when I purchased it, the original Michelins, because they had flat spotted, and being from 1988, I didn't think that they were safe. Uh, there's one piece of trim right in this corner here where the prior only put some some tape there to just hold that in place. Probably a better solution would be to glue that, I would think. And then we can do a quick drive. Oops. There we go. Clutch is really tight. I did flush the brake system. I also flushed the uh, clutch system as well since it's hydraulic. All new dot three. Plenty of braking pad material left. This car rides extremely nice on the highway. It does 70 just well. Uh, with it being a little bit convertible, there is probably a little bit of cowl shake just because that's how they made these back then as far as the bracing and everything when they converted them. You can see I'm doing about 50 here on a little back road. Roll up this window here. A little bit of shake I hear you is right where these two windows right there meet. But I do believe that this car is about as close to new as you're gonna get in an 88 Toyota. This car has a ton of life left to it. You can see it's heated up now, it's got good oil pressure. Right there, I recently changed the oil. Get all this car's way. Temperature always holds perfect. Everything works there, fuel gauge, odometer, trip. It's got a brand new battery in it. It's got good voltage to it. Um, wipers work. This has all Toyota glass in it. It's got Toyota embossed wiper blades on it. There. Windshield washers work. Cruise control works. You got their controls there for the cruise. I guess my camera's not that great. And then you got your cruise on button right there so you can actuate it. These are the side windows for a driver and passenger, the buttons. And then these are for your quarter windows to go down right there. And this is your control for the top right there. I hope this helps answer any questions.